Day 37 of the New Testament by Pentecost Reading Challenge. Today we read 1 Timothy. This is the first of three letters known as the pastoral epistles. Pastor did not yet refer to an official professional role, but had its ancient meaning of shepherd or leader of the flock. Scholars do not consider them to have been written by Paul. The vocabulary and style are quite different in Greek, only dimly echoing the passion found in Paul's writing. The issues addressed also will reflect a much later time, as these early communities just start to become more institutionalized with defined roles and a developed hierarchy. The letter is focused on practical advice for ordering the life of a community. It's probably most quoted for its encouragement of Timothy in his youth, and most debated for its view on the role of women. One of the things I think this chronological reading sheds the most light on is how the role of women shifts from Jesus' ministry and Paul's first travels and letters to several decades later as the church has become its own structure and begins to find a way to exist within Roman society as a distinct entity separate from Judaism. Remember reading Paul's first seven letters, where the symbol of sin coming into the world was consistently Adam. Here it is Eve. See in particular 1 Corinthians 15 verses 21 and 22 and Romans chapter 5, verses 12 through 14, for a comparison on this attitude. It's quite a change. In the big picture, this text advice on riches is challenging for many of us to hear. As we've seen, while the letter indicates accommodations to Roman society, it remains radical on the issue of economics. How interesting is it that so many today cite prohibition on women's leadership as definitive and binding, despite clear differences in the scriptural witness on that, while utterly ignoring the lessons Timothy would offer us on wealth, how do we distinguish between having what we need and living with excess? Blessings on your reading.